So the questioner says, I had an accident in Riyadh and eventually the insurance company paid for the damages. After fixing my car at the roadside mechanic, I still have a balance remaining from uh, the money given to me by the insurance company. Is this money haram? Okay, first of all, if um, the accident that happened to you is paid to you by the insurance of the person who caused you the accident, the insurance of the other vehicle, then they give you that much money to fix the car. They estimated that fixing the car would cost a thousand based on fixing the car uh, in the car dealer and buying uh, the original stuff. So they give you that much and they give you also allowance for renting a car while your car is being fixed. So you collected this money and instead of fixing the car uh, at the dealer, uh, you fixed it at a roadside mechanic, as you said. So the remaining balance is yours because they give you the cash to fix it for a higher price. And instead of that, you fixed it for a lesser price. And you are happy with the lesser value or, you know, the imitated uh, materials which were uh, replaced in your car. So this is your issue, no problem. But the question is, if you're talking about your insurance company, which you uh, subscribe to, number one, we said it is not permissible to purchase, but the basic insurance, which is required by law, because as long as you drive and you have driver's license, you're required to purchase an insurance package, the basic one. But going further to the commercial premium insurance, which covers everything then you chose willingly it is not mandatory to purchase it rather you chose willingly to subscribe to this kind of uh, commercial insurance and uh, as we know that the commercial insurance is not permissible so if they give you an amount to fix your car it should be within uh, the amount which you have been paying so if you for instance if one's car is totaled and he had only paid once or twice or several payments, which is not even a fraction of the compensation that he received. This is what is considered as gambling. The opposite is always true. If somebody been paying forever and did not get a single car accident, and then he quit or did not make the payment, and he lost the policy, the insurance policy, so his payment for the past 10, 20 years have been wasted. So what I'm saying is, if you have the choice, then you should not resort to a commercial insurance company because it contains two violations. One, which is the form of gambling, as I explained earlier. And the second is uh, the dealing with riba or usury. So if they give you like now, alhamdulillah, somebody recognized that I'm not supposed to purchase the premium insurance from a commercial insurance company. And uh, he repented. So he was given a compensation for an accident within the amount which he has been paying. That's fine. And if they give him the cash to fix it at a dealer shop and instead he fixed it at the roadside mechanic, as I mentioned earlier, the answer is the same. But he is not supposed to take extra than what he had paid. May Allah the Almighty guide us to what is best. I know that we're living in a very tough time. And I know that everybody around us is dealing with insurance and is also dealing with riba. And riba has become like in every form of business transaction around us. But we should try our best, especially when we have the choice. We should try our best to please Allah the Almighty and to abstain from what He has forbidden. May Allah guide us to what is best.